So my name's Tim Varkalis and I work for PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and I'm one of the uh, UK penetration testing team. So my job entails primarily, obviously, uh, conducting penetration tests against clients, networks, computer systems, web applications, uh, mobile applications, other bespoke kit, SCADA, industrial control systems, anything that comes our way. We also have to engage with the clients to create scope of work to make sure that we get an accurate representation that's pretty cost effective because we don't want tests spiraling out of control and not giving them the assurance they want. Um, at the same time, on the other end, we need to help manage people's uh, um, understanding of the risk that we find and how it impacts them and further then how to manage their remediation strategy. That's, that's my role within the, the wider cyber team we have here. I got into the industry via another company actually. Um, so I've only recently joined PwC in the last six months, but I've got five years in industry. Um, so uh, using my expertise essentially, they, they hired me for my expertise to help uh, uh, produce quality testing and help uh, train new people and help new people to, to understand uh, what they can do to help their clients. I say the best part of uh, being a penetration tester has to be um, doing original engagements. So when you find something new and interesting and exciting or you get to put together a series of relatively minor looking vulnerabilities which have major outcomes. Um, you manage to subvert someone's logic where they believe they protected against something and actually you can prove that, they're, that you've managed to bypass their controls. That kind of stuff is really rewarding, that's sort of my favourite bit. That plus the learning, it's a constant learning. If you don't like constantly learning, it's the wrong industry. Um, so that's got to be the best part. Um, the worst part, I suppose, uh, it's, it's difficult to say because it really depends on the engagement. But uh, it, on average, it would be, um, I, I'd say it depends too much on the engagement. Some engagements are really hard. Sometimes you really have to struggle. Sometimes clients uh, um, really don't understand the risk and there can be a lot of frustration when you've done a lot of good work and you know exactly what they need to do to fix things and to be in a much better position, but they have a hard time understanding where to go and then you need to put in a lot of effort helping them rather than discovering further vulnerabilities and risks. Some much more mature clients can very easily absorb the information you're telling them which means the time they can afford means you can do a lot more uh, uh, interesting study of their risks and how the risks propagate through the network and what they can do to address it. I would say um, you need to, in order to get into the industry, you need to demonstrate some kind of talent and you need to demonstrate some kind of passion. If you don't have those two things, it's very, very difficult for somebody to put the faith in you that it's worth the investment to get you up to scratch. Which means everybody I know who's been successful in this industry has had enough of a passion that they study in their own time. And they prove they study. They read blogs, they read information sources, they'll go and find things on the internet, they'll watch videos, they'll build their own virtual networks and they'll try and do things with them. Whether they're interested in penetration testing, then they're going to go and do that. If they're interested in, in malware and how it behaves, they will download malware samples, they'll run them and they'll analyze them. Uh, if they're interested in remediation strategies, a little harder to be hands-on, but you can read an awful lot of case studies and an awful lot of books and really get your head around it. Talk to people, come to conferences. You don't have to be part of a company to come to many of these conferences. Go network, talk to people, and you'll soon enough discover where your gaps are and what will make you attractive to somebody hiring.